Hey guys and welcome to the Soft Stone Games tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to add videos and sounds to your widget. Now before we begin I have to tell you something about Unreal Engine's widgets and that is that they can't play soundtrack from videos. So what you have to do is separate the audio from the video. For this you can use websites like Zamzer or Cloud Convert. You can also use audio editing software like Audacity which is free and open source. I've already separated my audio file from my video, so let's get started. I've created a new project. It's completely blank since we do not need any of the templates or the starter content. The first thing we'll add is a new folder. We're going to name this folder Movies. And we are going to create another folder. And this one I will name Video Widget. Let's open the video widget folder, right click, go to media and add a new media player. Make sure to check this box, hit OK and rename your file. I rename mine to video widget underscore MP. Now since we've checked that box, we will also edit a media texture. Right click and hit create material. Let's open our material and on the left side on the material click on surface and change it to user interface and reconnect our, te our texture sample. Save the material and we can close this window. Right click user interface and we are going to create our widget. I'm going to rename mine to video widget. Let's go back to the content folder, right click and let's create a new level. Let's open our new level, go to blueprints, click on open level blueprint. We can delete the event tick and from our event begin play note drag to the right and search for create widget. As class we are going to select the widget we've just created and now from the return value drag and search for add to viewport. Compile, save and close this window. What you have to do now is add our video and audio files. I've already opened both folders. My Unreal Engine project is in documents, Unreal Engine and then the name of my project. Open the content folder, go to movies. Let's copy our video file in there. And let's go back to the editor and drag and drop our video into, into our project. Now let's open our video widget folder and drag our audio file in there. Now let's build our blueprint. Open your blueprint and let's add a button. Drag it to the canvas panel and on the right side change the size to 1920 by 1080 which is full screen. Let's add an image and drag it onto your button. And let's resize it to 1920 by 1080 as well. And in image, we are going to set our material we have just created. Let's compile and save and open the event graph. We are going to add a new variable. I'll name this variable media player. And as type search for media player. Now let's compile and as value we're going to select our video widget media player we have just created before. We 
you can delete the pre-construct and the event tick drag the media player onto the graph and click get and from our variable drag and search for open source connect it to the event construct and as media source we are going to select our video file and mine was called road now this is all we have to do for our video let's create another node for the audio drag and search for spawn sound 2d let's select our sound mine was called road sound right click on return value and promote your variable and let's rename this one to sound component let's create another node search for set input mode ui only let's create another one called set show mouse cursor and make sure you've unchecked the context sensitive box check the show mouse cursor box and from our player controller search for get player controller and drag this one to the set show mouse cursor as well so now our video and audio will play now for the button create a on click event drag your sound component to the graph hit get create a new node and search for a stop where it should be on our components audio and there it is connect it to our event and let's create another node which is called remove from parent to actually close our widget now let's compile save and we can close our widget and let's test and there we go we have created a widget that plays our video and our audio and that's it i hope you've enjoyed this video like if you liked this video dislike if you didn't like it and don't forget to subscribe if you've got any questions comment down below and i will see you next time